Hello and welcome back to Galgorm Hall for episode 4 of the Signal Box Scratch Build. This time we are looking at installing the window frames on the lower aspect of the building and we'll also put in the two doors as well. So I hope, hope you enjoy it and I'll catch you again at the end. Let's take a look at the windows first. We have three of them to uh, fit window frames to on the bottom of the building. So first of all what we were going to look at is installing a little windowsill and for that we're just using some plain plastic card and we're going to cut that to approximately three millimeters in width. Now with that strip of plastic card cut what we then want to do is notch out on either edge to allow the windowsill to come round the side of the brick. Now you need to measure up your own window aperture to ensure that you have the right dimensions. For me we're talking 11 millimeters from side to side and we want to take a wee notch of a millimeter out of either side of that. I'm going to try and do this freehand. Now with that in place we can then install our window frames. Now we're using two strips of plastruct for this. One is for the outer frame we are using 0 0.40 square plastruct and then for the inner frame which will be the sort of the X in the, the centre of the window we're going to be using the 0 0.30 square rod. And before we do that we will take some masking tape and just put it in behind the window. This will, this will make it an awful lot easier to line everything up right at the rear of the window. So the window aperture itself is 10mm in width. So with the strip of that cut, because we're gluing to plastic we can use the contact adhesive instead of the rocket glue and we will apply our first strip to the bottom of the window. Now, ideally you would like to do these frames fairly tight fit. It will certainly make it easier to keep them in position. Alright, that's the bottom one fit. Now, the side ones, again, we will measure the length of those. And we're going 10mm in those again. Now, that won't bring us right to the top of the arch. What we want to do in this instance is to keep a little gap at the top for the upper uh, part of the frame to go in. have to use the rocket glue for the side pieces because they're being attached to the card rather than to any plastic. Now the upper one is much the same it's approximately 10, centi 10 millimeters. It will just be slightly larger because we do need to bend this one. So I'm going to do about 10 and a half on that one. Now before we try and fit that, what we want to do is just manipulate it and try and create a little bit of a curve to help it around the curve of the upper part of the, of the window. The plastic is just a little bit too stiff to pop it in there and do it itself. And at least by curving it yourself beforehand, it will remain in that position rather than trying to spring back straight. 
Now you'll also find with this one here that you maybe need to just trim a little bit off either end of it to ensure it'll fit. I've actually cut that one too long so I will trim that and we'll test fit it until I get it to the position where I can glue it into place. So again it's a touch of rocket glue and I find the easiest way of doing this is to get one end in first and then bring in the other end after that. Okay, so the next stage then is we'll put our bar across the center and we're going to use our 0 0.30 square rod for that. Now the measurement for it is, in my case, it is just under eight millimeters, about seven and a half millimeters. And again, we want to try and do as tight, as tight a fit with this as possible some contact the glue with this one here just a little drop on each end and this is where the masking tape comes into its own because it lets you rest it on that while you line it up with where you want it to go now I'm doing this purely by eye but you could easily just mark out the center point of the window and do it properly. Right, I think that looks okay. So we'll peel the, um, the masking tape away now and do it extremely carefully because we don't want to pull window framing all out with us. Just like that. That one there does, that frame at the bottom there just hasn't quite caught. There we go. We're okay. Say so just be very careful whenever you're taking that out. I don't like to leave it in for too long um, in case any of that glue would take to the, the masking tape uh, and then you're ripping it all out afterwards and the window frame and all comes so it's probably best to do it now but just take care with it. That doesn't look too bad. So I have two of the windows completed. I'll finish that third one and then we'll look at the two doors. With the windows done, we can now turn our attention to the two doors. Now the lower one is fairly straightforward, so we'll do that one second. Let's start with the more complicated one, the upper door. Now according to the prototype photograph, this is a solid piece, uh, as is the bottom one. But I suspect that that solid door has been put in at a later date to stop people trying to break in to the empty signal box. I would imagine, like most signal boxes, that it had a window on the upper, certainly on the upper part of that door. So we're going to do exactly the same. For that, we are going to turn our attention back to the signal box windows that we used for the main part of the structure. And for that, we want to take one of the three piece, or the, sorry, the six pane of windows and cut that out and we're left with that and then what we're going to do is to take away one pane now we want to do this as carefully as we possibly can and we're going to get right up against the the frame of that piece there and cut it out making sure that we don't rip the thing in the process and I don't want to damage the actual frame itself it's already bending slightly just by tugging at it there so I'll take my sandpaper and we'll just gently sand that 
until it's smooth. Okay, with that done, that will marry in absolutely perfectly with the upper windows, almost as if it's an extension to the entire box. But what we'll need to do is obviously fill in the bottom. And again, like we did with the little corner pieces here, we can take a part of the bottom of the fret of the, the windows and create our bottom panel for the door. Now in my case this is 11 millimeters wide by 8 millimeters in height so I will cut that out and then we can marry them up and glue them together. And for that we are just going to use good old rocket glue. Now the window itself is actually slightly smaller than what we need it to be. You maybe won't be able to see there in camera there at this point, but we can fill that in just with a little shim either of plastic card, which may be too thick actually for this, but even just some thin card will work absolutely perfectly just running up either side and that will give us a nice neat finish to the door. Now while that's drying you will also notice in the case of mine here I have a little a little section there that I actually need to fill out as well and again I'm just going to use the fret of that as we did here and I'll fill in that little section there and that will be all ready to go for the door. So we'll let the door dry, I'll install that and we'll come back whenever we're at the ready at the fitting stage. Okay, so that's this main door ready to go in. Now, I could have easily just glued it in there, but I just wanted to show you before I do. As I said, I needed to add just a tiny little shim of what turned out to be thin card to either side. Um, it's literally a strip, just like that. Same depth as the actual window and I don't even know what depth or what thickness of card that would be. It's it's basically what double what a sheet of ordinary paper would be. That had to be done. And then also I felt that the the, the gluing of the window between that and the panel at the, the bottom is just a little bit it's a little bit uh well it could break essentially. So what I've done is added another strip of the fret to the back of it just to overlap the door to give it a bit of extra strength. Now I'm going to glue this into place now. I've decided that this door is going to be closed and um, if you were to want to leave your door open I would suggest not installing it until after the internal flooring has been applied um, just in case you would sort of cause any damage to it. Now, am I going to be able to get the glue in there to to glue this and what I'll do is I'll install it from the rear because it should sit back from the front and I'll not worry about that glue that's squirting out at the front I can clean that off after I get the thing in place and I'm just using a wet cotton bud to clean off that excess there the, um, the rocket glue cleans off very well just with something moist okay so that's that door in and it doesn't look too bad now, now don't worry about the door handle we'll come back to that at the end whenever we're adding our final details and um, so I haven't forgotten about it but that's the top done. Now in terms of the bottom one it's a solid door so what we're going to do first is to cut a piece of card to put in at the back here to which we can then fix our plastic card to the front of. So we'll do that. Now I have cut just 
a big lump of card and we're going to place it in at the back here. I've also taken out the little corner wedge that was on this side. Um, it's really not necessary now that the structure's in place. It's, it's going to be solid enough with everything else now in the way. So if we remove that, it makes it an awful lot easier to apply this sheet of card. And it's literally just going to go in at the back like so. Make sure it's level with the base of the building. We don't want it sticking out over the end. And that gives us a solid structure on the outside to which we can now apply some plastic card. And this actually is a very thin door for some peculiar reason but it is again similar to the the real thing. So we'll measure out a sheet of plastic card to fit in there and we'll come back once we're ready for that. So I have my plastic card measured out. I haven't cut it to length yet. It'll be easier to do once I install it into place. But you will see that I have drawn pencil lines on it. They're approximately two millimeters apart, but it just depends on the width of your door as to, you know, sort of to make it a, a nice even measurement. And the purpose of that is to create some sort of groove to that door. And I'm just going to take my ruler and the back of a craft knife and I'm going to run down the length of the plastic card. Now it may not show up that much but whenever it comes to painting at a later date hopefully those grooves will help just add a little extra touch to the finish of the building and now we can add this to the building if I mark with the pencil the base and then I can cut that Once again, with a dab of the rocket glue. And set that into place. Now to finish this off, if we take our 0.3 square rod We're going to run a bead of it round each si both sides and across the top. And I would suggest if you do it, start at the top. That's the one that you need to get the measurement correct on. is we'll just run our glue down the edge and we'll fit our rod now before even cutting just trim it at the bottom And there we are, our second door is in place. Once again, we do need to add door handles to the to finish it off, but we'll come back and do that at a later date. Now, that concludes doors and windows for the entire building. At this point, I would suggest going ahead and painting it in your chosen colours. I will be painting mine in Revels, no sorry, Humbrol's Matte 103 but that's purely to tie in with what I have done before with the other signal box and with other buildings in and around the branch area of the layout. Once that's done, we can apply some plastic uh, acetate to the rear of the windows with a dab of um, Yoohoo uh, to fix it to the, the plastic and also to the upper windows as well and then we can go ahead and look at the internal aspects of it. 
with the windows and doors all painted up it really is beginning to come together as a proper looking signal box now I had hoped to do a little bit more work on this episode with regards to the internal aspect of the building but in all, in all honesty the amount of detail that was required to put these windows and doors in actually surprised me a little bit so we'll come back to that in the next episode and we will also hopefully start looking at installing the roof onto the building as well so until next time thank you very much again for watching if you've enjoyed the video please comment below and say so please like and subscribe if you haven't already done so and most importantly of all during these trying times please stay safe Thank you.